Sorry to disappoint all you memesters in the comments, but Paul's having a little bit of an afternoon off, so I'm here to talk about some leaks today for the Ryzen 4 Core 8 thread Raven Ridge, as we have some first performance numbers leaked thanks to a benchmark which was put up on the official Zhao Xin page. Now, this particular benchmark chart was swiftly removed, but not before it was helpfully grabbed by the guys at WCCF Tech. Now, because these were on the official page, we can probably say that these are legitimate. You know, the fact that they were swiftly removed probably just means that they were put up before they were actually supposed to be live. But, as I said, this leak is regarding Raven Ridge, which in essence is essentially a Zen 4 Core 8 thread configuration APU with a bit of Vega thrown in for a bit of spice and variety. Now, the performance of the chip can be compared pretty safely to the Ryzen 4 core 8 thread counterparts, so again, a fairly accurate metric to get some estimates going. Now, the benchmark is sadly only a single chart, and that's not really brilliant to be honest, it doesn't give us more than a little snapshot of what we can actually expect from the chip. You know, such a limited sample size is not a good way to get an idea of the actual real world performance. When doing any benchmarks of course you do a wide variety of them to see exactly what's going on in various usage scenarios but you know when we've only got the one image to choose from we can't exactly be fussy and throw the baby out with the bathwater. Now on screen you will see a chart which shows the various benchmarks and performance results for various chips. And their counterpart to Raven Ridge offers performance in their choice of benchmark, which was Fritz Chess, something that is on par with the i5-6600. Now, as we've seen in the past, benchmarks like Fritz Chess and things like Cinebench and so on, you know, they're great for getting a little sort of preview, an idea of the performance, but as we've seen in the past, it doesn't necessarily translate to actual real in-game performance. Now, while these... Sorry, while this particular chip is not the same as the Ryzen 3 slash 5, they are of course a different platform, they are essentially the same chips, and the reason I bring that up is because we actually did some testing on this very channel of the 1700X taken down to 4 cores, 6 cores, and of course the 8 core vanilla, and seeing what difference it actually made in performance at various resolutions. Now of course, given the similarities, between Raven Ridge and the lower end Ryzen, you can kind of get an idea of what the real in-game performance of this particular chip might be based upon our testing of it at a 4-core 8-thread configuration, given that this this is what this chip is, essentially, is a single CCX, 4 cores, 8 threads, and while of course there's going to be some differentiation, it's at least going to give you a vague ballpark figure. I would suggest you go check out that video that is, again, linked in the description below. Again, it is a different platform, so performance will vary, but it gives us a measure of an idea of what we can expect from Raven Ridge. Now, while we can't really compare pricing because this is a different platform, the price versus performance concern is definitely going to be one that this particular chip is going to have to answer. As, of course, when it comes to the main Ryzen lineup, which, again, this is fairly similar to, the Ryzen 5 it seems to be where the value of price versus performance comes into it. Again, I don't want to talk exact pricing because this is going to be a different platform. It's going to have a different price range. You know, there's maybe are going to be other chips and so on. But given that it is fairly comparable to the lower end Ryzen chips, you, you kind of get where I'm going with this. It's definitely going to be having to get that price versus performance at balance exactly right. Now, to be honest, this just gets me interested in seeing more performance indicators on this particular chip, you know. It's great to see this initial benchmark, you know, Fritz Chess isn't really used, it's mainly used in China, obviously that doesn't negate the results, but it isn't a popular benchmark, you know, it's not Cinebench or PCMark or Geekbench or something like that. It's not going to be one of those, but, you know, still, it makes me want to see more, because, you know, what we've seen so far is fairly promising, but again... We shouldn't take this as written because A, it's only a single chart, and B, it's not necessarily indicative of gaming performance. So, basically, this has piqued my interest, and hopefully it has done with yourselves as well. And when we finally get more results of these performance leaks, 
or more performance leaks in the future, whatever happens, we will get a more complete picture of what Raven Ridge is going to be delivering to us in the market. However, that is me done for this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.